guys so uh, welcome to the lr pro accounting so this is basically we are starting with the series for all the softwares and the informations that we can be able to provide to you to have a knowledge of uh, how the different software works now this this series is basically for the quickbooks uh, and uh, how it works basically uh, for the startup users or you know who wants to know that how the quickbooks actually works so first of all one thing to understand that whenever someone who sign up for the quickbooks most of the accountant or they make the mistake that they make a uh, quickbooks account in different region so it's important that you uh, select the right region for the quickbooks uh, let's say you are in us you need to uh, search for the quickbook us login if you are in canada you need to search for quickbooks canada login uh because if once the account is made in a different region it is difficult uh then to change for that particular account to convert into a different region you need to all together create a new account for that particular region okay let's let's get started for the how the quickbook looks so this is basically the just the overview of the quickbook so you guys can have the ideas that how the uh quickbooks uh, uh look like uh and how the its basic functionality and the features that works for the most of the users uh, okay so when you log in into the quickbooks uh so basically this is uh the view for the accountant so any accountant is there they can view their accounts uh, uh accountant view would be like this and they have the uh their client list here they can add the client here so first of all any regular user there they can have their own account defined uh, their books so the the panel would be on the left side to view all the uh options to go through so first of all anyone who would be creating their accounts they need to define their company settings uh and uh, uh and and the you know currency and all so let's go into the settings so the settings you need to first of all need to ensure that uh your accounting method that has to be either accrual or the cash so if you are on cash basis then do ensure that you update it here the cash because all your reports and all will be coming into the cash only uh and if it is not set it will come into accrual <coughs> uh next is the categories you can define so if you want to track by the uh your expenses by the classes let's say you have different products or the verticals within your business uh, uh if if i give you the example of uh let's say the different uh, uh, uh the hardware's you would be selling software and hardware's then you can have a, you know class by the software and another class would be your hardware so you can uh track in your pnl that particular category is how it is been uh, you know generating the revenue for your company uh other thing is you can go into the advanced settings and you need to define uh the your taxes your multi currency if you are dealing into the different uh, multi currencies you need to keep it on and or off, off for that uh also if you want to you know the project wise tracking of your uh expenses uh, and your income then you can also turn on the project for for the same uh yeah so okay so th this is the basic settings you know you need to go through uh to set up your account uh once you set it up your account uh you can first of all you would be going into the banking and in banking you need to uh connect your account to different uh, bank account that is uh, uh you are having so for different countries you will definitely have your banks uh, available in the quickbook itself so you can integrate it directly you can search through the bank and 
you can select your bank and your enter uh, this will take to your bank portal and you can integrate your bank statement directly here so that it will automatically flow all your entries into the banking section uh, next is the sales you can raise the invoices from the sales section also uh, the inventory management also works from here so uh, you need to go into product and services under the sales and you can add the product or services under the uh, this tab so all the inventory you want to track you need to first of all create the inventory for that particular product so definitely i i will have a different uh, uh, video for this uh, that i will make for you guys so you can have a better idea that how the inventory management works in the quickbooks uh, the expenses and purchases comes under the tab of expense you can have the supplier list okay so uh, there is an, another very important factor here is that let's say this is the we are thinking of any new startup company okay but let's say that you have that your existing company uh, probably on the zero or wave web and you are uh, want to migrate your data from uh, uh, from from zero and way up to the quickbooks then first of all you need to import your all data into the uh, quickbooks so for that there is under the tools section and uh, you have import data available uh, uh, where you need to import all the uh, required fields uh, basically your chart of accounts your bank data, your customer, your suppliers, product services, invoices, bills, trial balance. You can import everything into here. A separate, separate video I would be making for that. Okay. Uh, next is your the reports. So under the reports you have. So that's a very good thing under the QuickBooks. So you can have your custom reports available, uh, which you can. Uh, uh, readily available you don't need to make it uh, yourself once you have your entries done properly uh, let's say your your banking entries you have classified or categorized properly then it will come under the you know proper reporting so let's say as i discussed earlier once you have the class wise you know uh, categorization is there then you can uh, pull out the profit and loss account by the class so here the right now the class pnl uh, class wise pnl report is not available because we are not done on the feature for that uh the taxes the taxes always been the uh important part but uh that that all depends upon the different countries and region where you are uh where the also the customization is available and it, it depends upon your region that you know uh which taxes is applicable let's say in india it's gst in Canada, in Canada, you have uh, HST, PST, uh, and all the sales tax and the payroll are, you know, uh, handled under this tab. Same wise for goes for the US and the UK. So UK, UK, you have the VAT. So the VAT will be again uh, managed under this tab. Okay. So and the last step is for the chart of accounts and to reconcile your uh, different balances so on the chart of accounts is the uh, this is again the you know the very basic step for uh, creating and uh, starting up with your account so if you do not make yourself chart of account then quickbooks have its own default accounts to uh, which basically helps you to you know start up with your uh, journal entries or any the income entry or the purchase entries you want to do so any new account you want to make it you can go here into the tab and you can create the accounts if you have your own chart of accounts you can import here as well right okay the another tab under the accounting is the reconcile so under the reconcile you can reconcile your uh, the banks as well as not only the banks let's say if you have a credit card you have the 
uh, let's say the intercompany recourse you have any loan account which is lying with you these are all the things you can under this account is basically you can reconcile and it all opens to you that which accounts you want to reconcile you can reconcile all of those accounts under this tab so yeah the all in all this is uh, how the quickbooks functionality works uh, uh, probably i will have the uh, for each of this functionality will have the separate videos for you guys so you can have the in-depth knowledge of uh, how the quickbook works and probably it will help the accountant and not only the accountant the business users who are the small business users who want to you know manage them by themselves the accounts they can somewhat for the basic accounting however uh, we always advise that uh, you should have the proper accountant for you uh, why the reason is that that most of businesses are not really uh, realizing that uh, when they do accounting themselves is actually they are not knowing the lot of thing uh, where they are actually uh, making the profit or they are making the loss because there are a lot of factors that uh, affect the statement of accounts whether you're on accrual base whether you're on cash base uh, whether your all expenses are covered in your particular financial year or your particular uh, period and that is why it is very much important to hire a bookkeeper, hire an accountant. Maybe it will cost you some sort of extra, but that, that is a worth for the any users to have a proper bookkeeper who can guide them and uh, help them. So that's why we have also our own uh, bookkeeping services, which which is the Allied Pro Accounting. Uh, in description, you can have the link for the same. You can connect us anytime you want the support and yeah pretty that that is it from uh, us guys uh, if you have any queries please uh, write it down in the comments and we'll come up with the new videos or the recommendation that you make thank you guys cheers yeah